Look at the thing grow, baby. Smooth as a baby bottle. Ugh. For the past five years, high schools from the islands of Hawaii have designed and built exotic electric vehicles and raced them in the Electron Marathon. The team from the West Hawaii Explorations Academy on the Big Island has won the race twice and was gunning for another title in 2001. And I'm driving it on our test road. And to give you an idea of what it's like, it's, it's bumpy, it's a little warm. <laughs> like a greenhouse in here. Each team receives a kit with parts like electric motors, chains, and sprockets. They have to supply their own batteries and other parts and can only spend $2,500 to design and build their car. This wheel is mostly made by OAS students. We didn't make the spokes, the nipples, which are the little spoke nuts, or the rim. However, we did uh, make the hub out of uh, billet aluminum rod and then I assembled I put the spokes onto the rim and tightened it all and trued it so it's all balanced so it won't wobble. The electric car project is one of five different projects Quinn is involved with at WEA. I enjoy having a choice in what I do. It's not just worksheets every day or something like that. It's hands-on and it's fun stuff and it's good skills to have also. One of Waya's secret weapons is Bill McCown, a retired food executive who came up with the idea for the granola bar. Why is it sparking like that? The capacitor is filling up. McCown now serves as a mentor on several Waya projects. I got into helping out the students with some projects and uh, the main one that uh, we do right now is, uh, is a, an electric car project which uh, sort of fits my background, so it's very enjoyable for me to be able to give back some of the uh, skills that I have. This isn't really warm, so... Yeah, right, but, right. It, but it shouldn't be warm back here. It's a very enjoyable thing to be uh, of service to other people, and uh, I find it hard to imagine anything else that could be more enjoyable, frankly. In addition to designing and building their cars, each team must design and build a website, which accounts for 30% of the team's total score. They also have to give an oral presentation of the car building project. Team members must answer one of three questions they've drawn at random. There's three questions. Um, the first one is, what was the most difficult problem? How was it solved? The second one is explain how math, science, and language arts were integrated. And lastly, what was the good and bad of working together? And how did it help or hurt the team? The drivers are psyched, the cars are ready, so let's take a look at the field. Car 911 is Castle High School. The race, which featured 20 entrants, is an energy efficiency competition, rewarding the car that completes the most laps. And car number three is West Hawaii Explorations Academy. The drivers are ready, the green flag is out, and the race is on. Wailo pulls out immediately and leaves everyone in the dust. Here comes mid-pack car 11, Waikea car 10, Castle and Yellow, then Kahuku, and finally Kohala. Amazing, the difference in body design. In the middle of the race, it began to rain, but the weather didn't deter the way a car or the little green machine from Kohala. When the way a car pulled into the pits for the mandatory driver change, they discovered they had some brake problems. Brake time. No, at the 40 minute mark, Sacred Hearts has abandoned its body and left it in the pit. They thought their body was rubbing on something and slowing them down. In the end, West Hawaii's sleek red machine fell four laps short of the green bug from Kohala High. But the way a team will be back next year on a mission to recapture the cup. I feel that we've learned from our mistakes from last year's race. We're going to work on the car a lot more, do the documentation a lot more, and we're really rearing to get first place. I really think we can do it.